Next, we will see what is a platform. We know that movie application is contained in a server and banking application is contained in another server and they are connected via the network. But how is that the movie application developed in a programming language is able to translate into a language understandable by the network. So what is that that is available for the movie application to make sense with its own server? This is called platform. Platform is nothing but a combination of the operating system and the microprocessor underneath it. Microprocessor processes the instructions and the examples for microprocessors are the Intel or AMD processors. For operating system, we have Macintosh or Windows operating systems. So operating system basically is for memory management. When I write programming languages, my task is to interact with several other applications or with the printers, with the scanners electronically and programmatically. So for that, the operating system is responsible. It will know when to allocate memory, when to free the memory and what are the resources that it has to use to carry out a task or how the process has to be scheduled so that the basic resources are available for a program. Later, the microprocessor gets the information from the operating system and it knows the speed in which it has to process, say instructions per second or million instructions per second. So the platform is the sandwiching environment between the application and the network. This basically converts the programming instructions into information that has to move across the network so that it is available to the banking information. One other challenge in programming language is that platform independence. In Mobi website, I can have the programming language is Java, I can have Windows operating system and I can use Intel as my processor. So this will give me certain kind of binary information to be moved across the network to the banking website. Here I would have developed the application in C++, the operating system can be in Mac and the processor can be in AMD. This will have its own set of binary translation or binary info. So basically these two binaries may not be compatible to talk to each other. This is one challenge presented in programming languages, especially when two different programming languages and two different platforms are used. So that's where we get a new topic called platform independence that we will see when we go into Java.